Hi, this is Steven Scarlatis of PocketNow.com, and here is part two of my video review of the Verizon SMT5800 Windows Mobile 6 standard smartphone. Today we are going to look at Bluetooth connectivity. The SMT5800 is a Bluetooth 2.0 plus EDR device. It uses the Microsoft Bluetooth stack. Here is my toy box of Bluetooth devices. All of these devices I've reviewed on PocketNow.com. We have over here the Trans System iBlue 737 uh, GPS receiver, a real nice small GPS receiver. Works quite well with the SMT5800, uh, although it's too bad that uh, the S we can't use the SMT5800's internal GPS uh, chip directly. Uh, for headsets, I use a uh, V12 LCD from Blue Ant, and um, it works very well with the SMT5800. It also displays uh, caller ID coming in, so I put this in my pocket, pull it out, I can tell who's calling before answering the call uh, without having to look at the phone. I use uh, my old uh, Motorola HT820 headsets, which I reviewed a while ago. Uh, Motorola has gone on to produce uh, newer headsets, but I haven't tried them. Uh, this headset works uh, very well, again, with the SMT5800. Uh, in terms of the top-of-the-line uh, earphones, uh, we've got the Etymotic ER88s, and uh, they really sound uh, very good with the SMT5800. A new product I'm just testing uh, now is the... Uh, the Altec Lansing in motion sound blade uh, Bluetooth speaker which uh, also acts as a headset it has a, a microphone built in to give you uh, a little bit of a sense of what it sounds like uh, we'll try it uh, on the sound blade so we'll turn this device on hold that down turn on the SMT5800 it should connect. Uh, okay, so now we've connected. Bring up Media Player. And then uh, let's play uh, this song from uh, Nicolette Larson here. We can adjust the volume from here or uh, from the device itself. So you've got, you've got a choice. Um, we can go to the next song on the device and this is Riders of the Storm and it reproduces the sound quite well so all in all I would say this is a very capable Bluetooth device so the SMT5800 uh, did real well with all these devices, um, so its Bluetooth capability, I would say, is excellent. Uh, it also connects um, two laptops and desktop PCs uh, using Windows XP and uh, Windows Vista uh, using ActiveSync or uh, Windows Mobile Device Center. Um, the one thing that is missing from the Bluetooth connectivity is a modem profile. Uh, you cannot use uh, this device out of the box as a tethered modem off of your laptop. You actually have to use a USB cable uh, to enable that function. So this about does it for uh, today's uh, video review. And I'll be back uh, with uh, my next uh, part three video review, and we'll go over uh, some software applications that can run on the SMT5800. That's all for now. Bye.